Hello guys, welcome to another daily vlog now. Um, am I a daily vlogger? I don't know, I feel like lately I've been vlogging every day. I just can't wait to get all of this content edited, uploaded. Hopefully it's not too boring. Um, I know this summer I'm going to be vlogging a lot more and making more videos because what else am I going to do? Uh, but yeah, I never sleep anymore. Um, it's around 10.30, my friend's coming to pick me up, and we're going to Fabricville, getting coffee, running some errands, you know, the usual, and then I have some food in the house, but like not, not a meal, if that makes sense. Um, so, yeah, that reminds me, I need to take out, I don't know if you can see, uh, something to defrost. So I'm going to defrost that and then I'll probably make spaghetti later. Um, I do have to eat that lasagna. So I might just like meal prep that and then because you can easily reheat it but it just takes over an hour to cook um, the first time. So yeah and then we're going to come put up all my furniture I'm selling on um, probably Facebook Marketplace, maybe Kijiji. Um, yeah, we're going to go through the pots and pans, figure out what I'm going to toss, because some things might be a little burnt, one thing is I'm just going to either sell super cheaply, like what I'm thinking is I'm just going to get a box, put everything in it that I don't want, and then sell that for like $25, so like a kettle, frying pans, probably a couple pots, um, mugs, uh, utensils, just like a bunch of random stuff because I just like I want to keep like a lot of like my good bakeware stuff and like my really good knives besides that I really don't care like I have a lot of like baking things because I love to bake um so I'll keep those but I can just go buy the same frying pan set I bought four year three years ago uh when I moved to Ottawa or Toronto again at Costco so yeah and then we just have to go through all the bins because I gotta see what I can get rid of because I know when I first have this I like, know I need this but honestly I don't even some of the decoration things too I might just bring them home to see where what I can do with them um because I am going to help my mom like redecorate and reorganize so a lot of them that she can use so I'd rather give them to her um maybe there's some things I'll just give to friends I don't know like everyone has different styles my style has certainly changed. Um, I used to really love marble. Don't get me wrong, I still really love marble, but not that I'm tired of it. Everything I own is marble and too much marble. But I still love marble and rose gold. But yeah, so. You know, at home I don't really have furniture either, so. I just want to figure out everything that I can take. I also wish my car had a trailer hitch because then I would just rent a U-Haul. I'd figure out how to do that and I would just bring everything I own with me. So yeah, no trailer hitch. And yeah, so um, let's get two days started. Um, we also, it's record day, so we went to the local record store, um, and they always have like the best things, and I got Ed Sheeran on vinyl for $30, which is pretty good, I can never find this anywhere, and I also really like to shop locally as well, I think it's important, but they also always have what I'm looking for, um, yeah, I've got a record player a few years ago, I have a, a few records, um, with it I got Taylor Swift on vinyl, My Love, 1989, so so excited i think she's gonna be dropping a new album soon um like her cryptic instagram messages um best concert ever ed sheeran was great in concert so i bought this chain smokers i really want to see them in concert but yeah super excited about this and while i wait for my pizza cup i noticed that okay baby finally uploaded their birth vlog and i'm a huge okay baby fans so 
we're gonna go watch this. I've never been more excited for a video upload from them, and I've literally watched them since Levi was born, which is crazy. Like, before they even had, like, I think they had when I followed them less than 10k subs, so yeah, I'm really excited to watch this, and I'll uh, update you guys soon. Update after being in a food coma from that pizza, I am now wiping down furniture and about to post it, so yes, I have this one all ready to go, my little Ikea bar cart, so I'm going to start bringing out furniture and taking photos of it to sell. We're staying deliver, I apologize. But. Okay. There goes that one. And now. We have this chair. I just have little legs. <sighs> okay, so next I have to clear off the shelves. I have end tables. I have to clear off my dresser. So yeah, getting there, getting there slowly but surely. posted everything on here um and actually so many people are commenting now i think i've kind of upped some of the prices um but also i just want them gone out of sight out of mind i'll take a loss if i have to as long as they're gone because i'm stressed enough and any money is money when your credit card is maxed and you don't have a job and are going to grad school so can't wait to get all this furniture sold so my credit card will be paid off. Then I'll have my tax um, return. So yeah, everyone's messaging me. And yeah, let's see. Man, I already sold quite a, well, I guess I sold one thing. I've had a lot of um, inquiries, sorry, I got distracted, about things. I'm a little like, I live in a safe place, but it's like a little sketchy. Um, like some people I know, like, or know through friends or friends, like, I can pick them out that messaged me. Um, I don't mind them coming to my house, but there's some other people that I'm just like, mm. you know what I mean? It's kind of weird. <sighs> also, I've had one person try to beat me down for the price, so I'm just gonna say, um, no. It was like for the swivel chair, like, I'm pretty sure... I spent a pretty penny on that that I don't want to lower it as much, especially because I realized a 10 drawer rolling cart, I'm selling it for 20. I could have sold it for more, but also, ugh, you know, live and learn. This is my first experience selling something online, so I'm gonna tell that girl, um, would you consider any lower for the chair? Um, since I do live alone, um, and I know some of these people, not all of them, I don't feel comfortable them coming into my house. So I'm going to put them on my porch. And my phone is going off. So many people are interested. I gotta put up my dresser too. I haven't had no bites yet. Hopefully these are bites for the table and end tables. Um. You know? When you really need the money. Hopefully people buy my dresser too. That'd be nice. Um, you can't even see what I'm doing. I have like a little bit of 
spray paint that got on here and I just want to see if I can get it off for the new owner. I hope they love it as much as I did. Okay, some of this is coming off, others isn't. Someone's coming at six. Another person said she's just gonna text me after dinner. So let's see. I have to clear off my other shelf. Man, so many people are asking. I hate when people are like, is this still available? Like, what part? Because I posted multiple, and sometimes I don't know if they message me by accident because my friend's done that a couple times. But yeah, anyways, I'm gonna scrub this and let you know. A little update, I have um, first sold the bar cart. The person came and got it. Someone's coming to get the rolling cart. So many people want the rolling cart. I feel bad, but I also wrote on the description, rolling cart not available. I guess they just don't read it. Um, I'm waiting for someone to come and get the chair. I actually work with him, so I feel fine. And someone that I went to school with is coming to look at the shelves. And I've had inquiries about the table and the end tables. I'm just waiting for them to uh respond back and then yeah hopefully people come soon i love getting <laughs> the money so it kind of makes up for me feeling bad about selling everything because i know i'm going to get money and then i have to tackle this disaster and yeah tonight to post the bed and to post the drawers it's a lot but i'll get it done so tomorrow i can just focus on studying and then i'll do some studying on monday tuesday after tuesday i'm done so everything i have to do is just visit people that i want to see before i leave and uh finish packing so yeah as long as i can just make it till then i really gotta read the book so yeah <sighs> lots of stuff is happening also kind of cool because i kind of just announced yesterday that i'm moving um i didn't announce where or anything some people know um, I just told the guy that I worked with last summer that I was moving. He's like, oh, he came in, everything's like empty. I mean, here's, here, you have seen it like eight times today, but yeah. Also, I to get out my tripod when these shelves sell soon. Someone just said they're going to come pick up the end tables tomorrow. End tables are gone. Um, hopefully that girl responds about the table. Some guy says to come look at the shelves. He better take them because I just want everything gone. And then I'm gonna clean out my room. Sorry. Then I'm gonna clean out whoop, my room and uh, post the bed, post um, the dresser. Hope to God someone comes for that. And yeah, shall be interesting. I as soon as I'm gonna be really happy when I sell the bed and the dresser just because like I literally can't take those home this furniture and like I'm hoping to get like $500 for both of them so I just can't take those home like these I probably could have like decompressed and put in my car but I don't really need them I don't have room at my mom's house basically I'm going to be living out of boxes for a while sorry I thought I heard someone come basically I'll probably be living out of boxes and hopefully I'll be traveling in the summer too um, and yeah, I have a bunch of clothes I want to sell that are already at my mom's and then I'll probably have to sell the clothes I have now because I plan on getting in shape this summer. So yeah, I also decided to sell most of my stuff because at first I was packing everything. Now I'm like, hey, you need to be realistic. What do you want to keep? What do you want to get rid of? Like what needs to actually be tossed? What needs to be donated? What can you sell? So yeah progress hope you guys enjoy these moving vlogs <sighs> moving is a lot but i feel like since this is my eighth time moving i have it down to a science although this is the first time I have to sell furniture i love that i'm also like it's my favorite i bought it when i was like 16 so i'm just like should i 
should I sell it? Should I just sell everything? Like my headboard too? I could probably get 200 for that. I spent a lot of money on it. It's my dream headboard though. Because like next time I buy a bed, am I going to buy another double or am I going to buy a queen? Because that bed I think is only for a double. So yeah. It's rough. This guy better hurry up and come get these shelves because I want them gone. And people message about them and I haven't responded because I'm waiting. And he has till 7 and if he doesn't show up because he's at around 6, I'm being lenient. I'm just going to give them to someone else. And hopefully someone will come by the table and yeah. So weird. I really wish I said sold the tender rolling cart at a higher price because everyone seems to be jumping up on that. I should have really sold it for like 25 but whatever at least. Sold it for 20 so yeah. Things are happening. <laughs> sold one of the shelves so hopefully someone there's like three or four people that were interested in that so whoever gets back to me next. This is a good thing I'm now balancing you on my fridge um so whoever gets back to me next gonna have the next shelf for 15 um so yeah lots gone someone's getting the end tables tomorrow so i just have to shelf in that and then yeah what's gonna we're gonna make dinner it's around seven right now so i'm just gonna make pasta well it's spaghetti but not with spaghetti noodles um so the bag pasta and lean ground turkey um, yeah, I'm not the best cook. I, I do enjoy cooking sometimes, especially when I have a bigger kitchen. Like, there's literally no room here. So, not that there's that much room at my mom's house either. Definitely a requirement for my future house, uh, a big kitchen. Um, so yeah, let us start cooking. I'll just move you this way welcome because i sold the shelf where i keep all my food aka my pantry um it's going to sit there for a week who is snapping me oh yes i packed all my things because i never cook but I guess we're gonna cook tonight, so. And. Yeah. I'll have to unpack some dishes for this. Ew. I hate meat. Like, touching meat so bad. It makes me want to gag. One day I would love to become a vegetarian because I hate touching meat. Um, probably when I live in a bigger city. And non-meat items are more popular. Although, I was watching Us when I'm Parker's vlog. Oh, how big are the shelves? Um, Good question, people. Anyways, I was watching Aspen and Parker's vlog, and Aspen is pretty much vegan, but not because she eats it randomly. Um, kind of like me, but she doesn't want to force her kids into that. Mm -hmm. I think that's really commendable. That's what I would do too, not that I plan on having kids anytime soon. how tall these shelves were when I bought them. Ikea show. Oh. I am 
have no idea. Oh, wait, let me figure this out and figure out my hamburger. Also, I'm gonna put some taco seasoning in it. Here we go. This actually looks really good. I added a bunch of mushrooms in there and then just this can of tomato sauce. So I think that looks good. My neighbor is honking his horn, but yeah. So let's check on this beautiful pasta and see how this is doing. I just put my dresser up on Facebook. 